Canon has just released the EOS R3 and as expected, the camera has bewildered us with its insane capabilities. The whole Canon R series has been a leading mirrorless camera series in the market. The R5 and R6 had great features for shooting both videos and images. Both of those cameras offer high-speed performance, but they're not as fast as the Sony flagship cameras. So, there was still a lack of dedicated camera for shooting wildlife and sports in the R series, which has been fulfilled with the launch of R3. And in this video, we are going to discuss all the ins and outs of the Canon EOS R3 and how does it stand in the competition with other flagship cameras in the market. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. The Canon EOS R3 comes with a 24 megapixel full frame stacked PSI CMOS sensor. We understand that in the R3, Canon has focused on the speed and that's why it has kept the resolution low. A low resolution speeds up the sensor readout. And to boost the readout speed further, the EOS R3 includes a sensor with stacked construction. The BSI design of the sensor is going to give you impressive low light performance. It has an ISO range from 100 to 100 to 1400. You can shoot higher ISO numbers and still get sharper and less grainy footage because of the BSI stacked sensor. The light capturing ability has also been improved which lets you capture 14-bit RAW files in electronic shutter mode. Canon has put a lot of emphasis to ensure absolute quality in the R3. For example, it includes an optical low-pass filter which reduces the moir and aliasing effect. On top of that, the rolling shutter effect is much lower than the R3 than in the previous EOS models. Apart from that, R3 comes with a Digic X processor which is fast enough to let you shoot 30 continuous shoots with its electric shutter. Besides, you can also switch to a mechanical shutter and shoot 12 frames per second in burst mode. As far as video is concerned, you can shoot full width 6K RAW videos at 60 frames per second. Besides, you can also record over sampled UHD 4K videos at a whopping 120 frames per second internally. Apart from that, the R3 is capable of capturing 10-bit H.265 gamma encoded videos utilizing the C-Log3 color profile. Additionally, this camera also lets you shoot the 10-bit HDR footage with the PQ curve. However, though Canon has mentioned that there is no temperature restriction in shooting all i 4K at 30fps from 6K, 4K or 6K RAW at 60 frames per second, it may stop after about 60 minutes in the room temperature at 23 degrees. Moreover, you will need a CF Express card rated with more than 400 MB per second to shoot RAW or 4K at 120 frames per second. Though R3 looks like an old style bulky DSLR camera, it feels insanely lightweight. It is just about 1012 grams with the battery in, which is about 400 grams lighter than the EOS 1DX Mark III. Though lighter, the Canon R3 has the exact same magnesium alloy body, the same weather seal construction and ruggedness. This camera incorporates a dual card slot. One is for UHS-2 SD card and other one is for CF Express card slot. However, considering the high performance of this camera, it would be very nice if it had a dual CF Express card slot. Additionally, the R3 has a rechargeable lithium-ion battery LPE19, which lets you shoot about 860 shots when you're shooting with an LCD touchscreen. And if you switch to the electronic viewfinder, you can shoot around 620 images per charge. One of the most striking features of the Canon EOS R3 is the Dual Pixel CMOS Autofocus 2, which includes 1053 phase detection points and covers the entire sensor. The dual pixel system enables the sensor to get a stereoscopic view of the scene to evaluate the distance of a subject. This process essentially turns the entire image sensor into an autofocus sensor, which makes the autofocus perform responsive, accurate and faster. And if you're thinking how fast, well, it can perform 60 autofocus and auto exposure calculations per second. Moreover, it can detect eyes, faces or bodies. So no matter if a subject turns around or looks down while shooting, R3 always keeps track of your subject. Besides, the auto tracking system has been improved to identify faces even in difficult lighting situations. In addition to that, this camera is also capable of tracking animals and motorsports. The animal autofocus is helpful when you're shooting wildlife. And if you're more into sports photography, motor racing in particular, then motorsports is there to capture the fastest and the most furious moments in racing. 
Another cool feature in the R3 is its eye-controlled autofocus, which lets you focus on things you look at through the viewfinder. This system tracks the movement of your pupil and adjusts the focus accordingly. Now this is not something new. We have seen eye control autofocus in a previous Canon model, but this feature was severely criticized for failing to perform correctly. But this time, Canon has relaunched the eye control autofocus, which works like a charm. However, you have to calibrate the camera with your eye movement before using this feature. The more time you spend calibrating it, the better it gets. And if you don't want to use it, you always have the focus joystick to save your day. As for stabilization, this camera comes with a 5-axis in-body image stabilization which is really helpful when you're shooting handheld or want to shoot at a slower shutter speed in low-light situations. And when combined with optical image stabilization, this camera offers smooth footage up to 8 stops. Another distinguishing feature of this camera is its 5.76 million dot electronic viewfinder. Resolution-wise, this is one of the top-notch viewfinders in the mirrorless market. And with a refresh rate of up to 120 frames per second, the electronic viewfinder gives you an almost lag-free view which is handy when you're shooting in a fast-paced scenario. And the blackout free view is a big plus for sports and wildlife shooting. And if you're old school and want the feel of an optical viewfinder, there is an optical viewfinder simulation mode just for you. All the changes you made in your exposure and modes are not going to impact your view in the viewfinder. Apart from that, there is also a 3.2-inch fully articulating LCD which offers 4.15 million dot resolution. The articulating screen is helpful for bloggers and content creators while the high resolution of the LCD screen will provide a vivid and more lively view. So that was all about the Canon EOS R3. But wait, who is it for? And is it worth the price? Undoubtedly, the Canon EOS R3 is a very capable camera for wildlife and sports shooting. The faster performance and breathtaking autofocus are simply stunning. The video specs are also very impressive. It has everything a high-end camera should have, but for what price? The Canon EOS R3 currently has a price tag of about $6,000. So clearly, it's not a camera everyone can afford. Moreover, there are plenty of other options within the same price range. You can buy Canon R5 and a Ninja Adamus 5 Plus and still have more than 500 bucks left if you consider the price of an R3. And with that R5 setup, you can shoot unlimited 8K. And there are many other things that the R5 is capable of. Apart from that, if you add some extra bucks, you can buy a Sony A1 instead of an R3. And as we all know, the Sony A1 is the ultimate camera that can do literally everything. So in summary, everything about the R3 is great except for its price tag. You can buy the R3 only if you don't want 8K or don't want to add anything more than 6 grand. So what are your thoughts about the Canon EOS R3? Let us know in the comment section.